Today we are going to be creating an abstract flower inside of Maya and uh, we'll see what is the easiest and best way to create that. Now before creating this I just want to give a quick shout out to Nick Meruka who actually came up with the original idea and uh, he created this idea inside of Houdini so we are going to be recreating this inside of Maya and how we can use this um, same technique and apply it in Maya with different type of fields. So to start off with I'm going to take a simple disk here. All right, and uh, I'm going to go to my poly disk, and uh, you can increase the size uh, size if you want, if you want more subdivision, or you can keep the size to three and increase the subdivision. All right, so I'm going to start off with uh, four subdivision. The idea here is uh, basically creating multiple layers of those same disks to create that flowery look. So here I have a simple disk with the subdivision level of four. So I'm going to just increase the scale here all right if you want to be very like uh, precise you can what you can do instead is you can go for the radius and maybe go for two radius maybe like three all right so let's go with three i'm gonna simply rotate this to about minus 90 degrees all right there you go and from here we are going to create some layers uh now i'm gonna hit uh, x on my keyboard and just snap it back to right about there and i'm gonna hit ctrl d x move this right about there and just hit shift d shift d shift d shift d and shift d all right so it's totally up to how many layers you want exactly on top of each other so i think um i think seven is about right uh, good but if you want you can maybe add a bit of extra here now once you're done with this uh when you're pretty much uh, good to go what you can do is you can simply reduce the scale of each disk to create basically a layer stacking on top of each other so I'm gonna just lower this down and if you want you can go into the front view to check out how really exactly you're transforming all right and let's turn off the grid and yeah, there you go and uh, what I'm gonna do here is basically Alright, so there you go. So we have something like this, uh, which is, which looks pretty good. So from here, what I can do is I can uh, reduce the overall distance. I think uh, we don't need that much distance between them. Uh, it was, uh, the snapping was just so we get uh, the equal amount of clones. Alright, so I'm going to just uh, layer, layer them like this and we are good to go from here. Now the next thing that we have to do is uh, we have to take a sphere. All right, and now this sphere is going to collide with all of these disks, and that is going to create that flowery shape. So I'm going to reduce my sphere size to maybe like 0.3 or something, 0.4. All right, uh, that looks good. And now before hitting, what we have to do is make all of this as an end cloth object and this as a passive collider. So let's quickly switch our menu to FX. I'm going to select all of them and go to end cloth and create end cloth. There you go. And lastly, you can select this and passive collider. Now, when I hit play, uh, you'll notice everything falls down. So, to reduce, uh, to stop that, what we have to do is select your nucleus, and uh, I believe you have to turn off the gravity. Now you're good to go. Once you're done with this, we have to animate our passive collider. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit S on my keyboard to keyframe all of this, or you can also right-click on your translate and key select it and uh, go forward in time to right about 30 seconds anything that works for you and to right about there all right to maybe here and hit i click key selector or you can also hit s on your keyboard and when you play this you get something like this right uh which is not uh, exactly what you wanted uh, because it is a bit too fast so what i'm going to do is i'm going to select this right click cut uh, go to 60 and all right so now if you play this uh, yes we are getting uh, that flower look which looks pretty nice and everything uh, but the thing here is what's missing out here is uh, not that uh, turbulent feeling that a flower has so what we have to do to create that is basically uh, we are going to select our we are going to take a simple turbulence all right and i'm going to turn off the grid from here and uh, if we go to our turbulence here and uh, increase the turbulence and if you play this 
right let's go here uh, you'll see nothing is exactly affecting this so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select mine cloth and take my turbulence again and that should probably work yeah so we are getting this turbulent field uh, but the field here is a bit too strong because the magnitude value was 100 so I'm gonna reduce the value till we get some kind of magnitude going on in here all right uh, now the magnitude is still pretty good uh, we want exactly 25 value but if you'll notice that the cloth is kind of slipping away now to prevent that what I'm going to do is I'm going to select my cloth again and I'm going to take a simple effect called drag and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to increase the drag to me 0.200 or something like that and uh, let's see how much drag exactly we want it okay so I'm going to go for maybe a value of 35 and in the turbulence I'm going to reduce that annuation to maybe like 0.2 and uh, let's reduce this to 15. Alright. And let's make this nice level 2. And I'm just going to keep changing the value until it fits uh, just right for me. Alright. And let's maybe change on to pollution to quadratic. And there you go. So you'll notice that the first screen is kind of uh, slipping away. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to make my sphere a bit closer here, right about there. And right click, key selected. There you go. So when I play this, uh, it should hit right there. Right. So it's kind of skipping this plane, uh, which will fix soon. Now last thing to do here is uh, selecting your cloth, uh, which is the cloth you're holding. And what you want is to change this to a silk. All right. Now one thing you'll notice is when they collide, all right, to right about here, uh, you'll notice that this is kind of going crazy and the reason is, uh, let me just put on something else like maybe a uh, t-shirt or something like that. So all of this are nothing but end cloth presets and you'll notice that they are kind of fitting nicely. The one thing you'll notice is that there is some kind of gapping here which is allowing them to stay uh, not exactly collide properly. So if you go into your collision and turn off your collision thickness, you'll notice how thick the cloth is treating this object. So what you have to do is you have to reduce the amount of thickness here. All right. So you can pretty much increase or decrease. It totally depends on you what kind of field you want it to be. If you want a baggy or thin film, uh, thin uh, collision thickness. So I'm going to turn this off and what I'm going to do is again I'm going to go to cloth 1 and uh, I'm going to select cohesion thickness so let's go back so this is too much for pretty much uh, a simple plane so I'm going to go for maybe like 0 0.005 and I think I just want to keep some kind of subdivision um, thickness here it doesn't have to be too much but it doesn't have to be too low all right so that is one two let's turn this off now let's see this one five there you go turn this off four let's check this out and let's turn it off and i'm going to go for six let's go and change this as well and i'm going to go for cloth six and i think we have already changed this Finally, the 7 and 0 0.005 off, and yeah, we're good to go. All right, uh, so yeah, it shrinks down uh, nicely. Right, there you go. Now, one thing uh, that is left here is uh, to fix this overall collision here. Now, to fix your collision problem, what you have to do is increase the sub step to 100, sorry, a 10. Uh, and that will just solve the whole problem and I think uh, the animation here is a bit slow it has to be a little bit faster so what I'm going to do is uh, go to my sphere cut this and maybe like go to 40 and paste this alright so that looks nice so I'm going to select everything and just hit 3 on my keyboard and this is what we are getting now. I think there is uh, more room for improvement. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to increase more of our barrier here. I'm going to push this even further and right click key selected. Alright, looks good. 
Let's hit play. Okay, so this is what we are getting now. Uh, not that bad. Alright, so what you can do from here is I'm gonna make this to about 60 here. Uh, just so we can uh, properly cast this and uh, since we have the drag active uh, we can go a little crazy with the turbulence uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go for 15 maybe a noise level of 4 and let's take a look here alright so I think I like this overall look here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all of them and go to end catch create new catch and let's create a catch Alright, so our catch is ready. So the reason actually we have cast this is so we can actually create, select a very nice frame where we want this effect exactly to be. Like uh, you can see this uh, point where it's kind of colliding. So you can select any point where you want it to be, where you want to choose your exact point. Uh, so this looks pretty nice. There's one thing uh, I would like to add as an addition to this is uh, I'm going to get rid of the catch here. Leave it all catch. Uh, so we can do this again. So I'm going to select all of my cloth and I'm going to go to Vortex. And Vortex is basically, it will create a whirlpool kind of feel. So I'm just going to increase the magnitude to see how strong it's affecting and the rotation. So if you'll notice that uh, the Vortex hitting the cloth here, as I'm going to take my pencil, it's in this direction, right? What we want is to be circular, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select my Vortex here and uh, let's see and i'm gonna make it maybe a negative one all right and uh, let's see how this works maybe one zero okay so i think uh, this is exactly what we wanted and uh, now we have got a nice vortex feel to it uh, that will create our extra rotation so this way we won't get the same planar effect on each and every disc that we will get a little bit of extra randomization on every plane and that will give us a perfect flower look all right so once you're done with this what i'm going to do is again select all of your cloth and go to end catch create new catch and object Right, so we are done here and uh, again I'm gonna go to my sphere here we don't no longer actually need it so I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit H on my keyboard and I'm just gonna hide it if you want you can delete it uh, it really doesn't matter and uh, so once you're done with this what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select all of them and just put it in a group nice and let's simply hit G on the keyboard and let's 90 degrees right and what you can do is I'm going to just uh, control D this and I'm going to just make this a copy. So I'm going to put uh, rest of this, whatever uh, our um, actual dynamics is and I'm just going to hide this. Just so we have a good amount of way of uh, doing work. If you mess up, if you don't like the shading or anything, you can go back and change whatever you want. So I like this look. I'm going to keep, keep it like this. So what I'm going to do is quickly take a camera just to visualize how this actually looks. Right. and uh, okay so I'm gonna change my focus maybe like 120 and let's take uh, 1k square okay I'm just gonna switch my engines to GPU there you go so let's frame it perfectly and uh, to finalize this, I'm going to just take a simple serial curve tool and I'm just going to draw something here and lastly just create a sweep mesh. So I'm going to make a side to maybe like 12, scale profile will be pretty low and let's increase the precision. Okay, so there you go. Now let's see. Right, uh, and I believe my light is completely turned off, so I'm just gonna turn this on. Alright, so there you go. This is how the overall look uh, we have on our plot. Alright, so I'm gonna just quickly shift my light to this direction, and uh, let me just select this and assign new material. 
start office and uh, let's go in here and I call this cloth and I'm gonna just make this a bit of ruffle right uh, you can also keep it to 0.4 and if you want to add a bit more into here you can also use a bit of a sheen here uh, maybe taking a different type of color something like this and uh, yeah just I'm going to select the stem here and uh, alright so there you go this is uh, what we have again you can have fun with this you can maybe like play around a bit more uh, with what your and how your flower exactly looks play more with the lighting I just use a simple HDRI for the visualization purpose but again you have you can you guys can have fun uh, working around how your flower exactly looks so play more around with the look dev area how you can create a bit more interesting look for your flower right so this is it again um, uh, I want to say thank for to Nick uh, for creating this effect and uh, hopefully you guys will enjoy creating our abstract flower that's it for this one and I'll see you in the next video